The next time you call in a fire to 911, the worker who dispatches the fire engine may not be human. That's because a crucial part of mobile fire and rescue is going automation. Fox News reporter Renee Diles explains it all. This is 911. Do you have an emergency? Every 911 call comes through this station at the Mobile County Communications Center. These call takers make sure your call is routed to the correct emergency agency, like police or fire. That's where you get a dispatcher who actually sends the officer or fire truck to the scene. But if there's a fire emergency, you might get the new kid on the block. Engine 26. Motor vehicle collision at 7340 Ziegler Boulevard. This is the face behind that voice. She's an automated dispatcher, and within the next two months, she'll be handling the calls for all of the fire stations in Mobile. The automated uh, digital voice comes straight from the information off of CAD. It's going to reduce our uh, dispatch time to our trucks. Mobile Fire Chief Steve no Dean says the automated system business. officially went online at the and West Mobile Fire Station a couple of weeks ago. According to Chief Dean, different accents sometimes makes the human voice difficult to understand. Dean says the automated voice has no accent. The, the diction is, it doesn't change like between people. So the initial information going out to the fire stations will all be the same every time. But could the system cost other dispatchers their jobs? Dean says no. The dispatchers will still be there to take the information, put it into the system, and communicate with the units when they're on the call. So when you dial 911, the voice you get will be the real thing. Let me transfer you to the fire department. In Mobile, I'm Renee Dowles, Fox 10 News. Mobile Fire Rescue started testing this system out about two months ago. They say it's going to be up and running at all the stations within the next six weeks.